And, I, and I'm not being facetious when I say that. And I apologize. I, you cause me to lose my temper sometimes when I... This is really important. Yes, it is. Over football fields. Well, now I can say today that in the 20 to 30 meter crater elk cross may we found maybe about a dozen of these two gallon buckets worth of water doing their job and then five years from now we call and say okay we want to build a rocket they'll tell me with whom we don't do that anymore all those guys went over and they're now selling pizza and i thank you it's good to be here again as as pete mentioned about uh one month ago we we made an impact and uh we saw some squiggly lines and we've been working about 28 hours a day a large team uh, of, uh, on, uh, to understand what those mean. And so I'm here today to tell you that indeed, yes, we found water. And we. Planet Earth. Uh, some of our best windows face the Earth. And it's uh, very. Uh, Um, that's a hard question to answer. Planet Earth, uh, some of our best windows face the Earth, and it's, uh, very, uh, and allows us to, to see marvelous places, you know, coming and going, and it also just gives us that perspective of, of looking down on the Earth, and we are in an orbiting spaceship. And that when you look, when I look out at the stars and I see, you know, so many stars and planets. Hello, and welcome to the International Space Station. I'm Katie Coleman, a NASA astronaut, MIT graduate from 1983, and this is my world, at least for the past few months and another month. I'm really happy to be here with you today and to share this place with you. I'm very privileged to live aboard. Uh, the International Space Station and commute to work here every day and I love pretty much every single minute of it. It's a uh, it's a uh, very uh, it's a uh, very uh, blue and very beautiful See there off in the distance, we're approaching uh, some land there, and I'm not sure exactly what. We never left the Earth. That's why nobody tracked us. We never left the Earth. We just, <laughs> we just crashed back into it. Game <laughs> entering right now. They are quite happy. But you see, I need your help. You are known throughout the universe for your expertise in this field. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> all right, all right. Help with America Space. Um, Adam, uh, tell us about the landing. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, Greg. Um, I can't tell you too much about it. I mean, it looks good. Uh, I'm being a little flip. Uh, in short, it looked extremely clean. Uh, I think we're going to get there perhaps quicker than we would have done before. If you look at flights to Mars, for example, game-changing technology enables us to go to Mars in days, not months. Uh, when I talk about game-changing technology, 
one thing that will help will be to let somebody like a Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz or somebody who's studying ion engines help us develop a game-changing uh, uh, interplanetary engine that'll cut the time to go to Mars in half. Uh, then that reduces some of my concern about getting humans there. But if you gave me an infinite pocket of money, pot of money, I could not get a human to Mars um, within the next 10 years because there are just some things that we don't know.